Greetings Commanders, it's Ryantium here, and today we are back once again in Stellaris Console Edition with the Screevian Corporate Holdings. And that's right, you guys. So, it is indeed time to get back into this. Apologies about not having a, mon uh, a Monday video. Um, I was in no condition to record on um, uh, Monday for a video for Tuesday, so I had to push the, uh, the videos from Monday to Tuesday and so on and so forth. But, we're back. So, I went ahead and did a little bit of micromanagement in the background before the episode even started. In fact, let's go ahead and start her up. Um, so all of our world, they're, they're constructing new buildings and everything like that. Our economy will probably take a little bit of a hit here at the beginning. Because I kind of just randomly upgraded a bunch of different buildings. And I think some of them take crystals, so that's that'll be kind of unfortunate. But today, today we need to set our sights on something a bit more ambitious. And we need to get them into... What the heck? What happened here? Does this go to the psionic thing? It does. Okay, that that's what it is. Um... We need to go to war with the Finu regime. They are getting far too powerful for my liking. And uh, as we can see, the Finu regime is only inferior with the Karabnar Intersolar also being only inferior to us as far as fleet power goes. <clears throat> so we really do need to go to war with them to either vassalize them slash turn them into a subsidiary or to turn them into good people. Now, we're friends with the Karabnar Interstolar. Uh, Interstolar. In fact, we can go ahead and invite them to our mega corporation right now. Question is, should we do that? They are authoritarian. Mm, it would save a hell of a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and say that yes, we, we invite them into the Federation. Get them into the Federation. It failed? Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do it again. Except this time. Um... Confirm, and vote yes, please. It's failing every time. Are you kidding me? Because the Hruni Trade Union says no. Oh, I know why. I know why. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Laws. Um, okay, wait a second. Invite members. Majority vote. There we go. <laughs> this is what we needed to be on. There we go. <laughs> okay, now we can invite them. Because we, I was going to say, we have a majority. Why the hell? But it had to be unanimous. There we go. Perfect. So now they're in our federation. And let's take a look at how much of a hit we just took with um, cohesion. Okay, so we're still at plus 2.55 .5 a month. Uh, we'll lose a little bit of XP over the next few months. But it is A-OK. -okay. We do have some diverging ethics, but you know what? That's okay with me. And now we have one of the largest empires in the galaxy on our side. Now, we're going to go to war with the Finu regime. So the Finu regime now poses the most threat to us, with the exception of these guys up here. So we're going to go to war with them, hopefully, to offer subsidiary status. Although, wait, we're too... We're, they're too big. <gasps> Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, I tell you what, we need to get more powerful, and then we can, we can ask to vassalize them. Ask to subsi uh, subsidize them, I, sh I should say. Uh, let's make sure that we've got everything good here. Have open borders, everything like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that was nice. Right at the beginning, we got another gigantic empire into our federation. There's a void spawn up here. No way! I kind of want to go kill that thing, but I have no idea if I can even do that. I don't think I've ever killed the void spawn. That's so cool. So we're going to continue... To, yeah, I figured we'd take a consumer goods hit. Uh, we're going to continue to build up our fleets um, because... Oh, wait. Uh, we're going to need a bunch more ships in order to take on these bad boys down here. Luckily, they're not huge, but they're like the biggest empire that we can we can get into the Federation next. Um, obviously, Zuri Manufacturing would be one to get in there as well. Uh, but then again, they're also not really the most powerful, and they were kind of eaten by the Berserkers. Let's see, let's go and buy up some alloys. Because we're starting more construction on our gateway network, making sure that we can jump across our entire systems. Still working on all of our tech, and hey, look at that, there's Titans, wonderful. It's weird, we're 2315, and uh, we just got the Titan tech. Normally, I'm, it's much faster that, than that for me. But that is because I play on like low, low tech costs. But yeah, realistically, we do a wonderful... The Screevian Corporate Holdings will be on the Galactic Council here in the next 160 days. Realistically, though, we do want to go to war with them. It looks like their biggest fleet right now is a 40k fleet. 
So yeah, they're they're pretty powerful, honestly, compared to us. Um, we would win the fight. Is this? That's remanufacturing. That looks to be their only two fleets, but I don't want to make that assumption. Because if we have two, three... They're actually more powerful than us with this fleet right there. What do they have inside of that fleet? Is it fairly balanced? Yeah, six battleships, ten cruisers, twenty-one destroyers, forty-three corvettes. So yeah, that's a beefy fleet. That's a beefy fleet. Um, our Federation fleet would actually do really well against that. And keep in mind, it's not taking into account the Federation fleet when it says that we're um, they're inferior to us. So it might be a good idea to strike now. I'm trying to think of what the best course of action would be. Because, let's see, do they have any wormholes that lead into our space? Let's double check where this wormhole goes. This comes over close to our border. Okay, that's good to know. Which means we wouldn't have too far to go and we could jump right at their fleet. Galactic Council elections have been concluded. The members of the Galactic community have voted to establish a Galactic Council. Membership in this august body will be limited to representatives from the three most powerful and influential empires in the community. Until the new council is elected, these are the Screvian Corporate Holdings, the Karadnar Interstolar, Intersolar, and the Zri Manufacturing. The members of the council are expected to lead and safeguard the galactic community. Their increased powers allow them to cut through some of the red tape that so often inhibits the decision-making process in large political institutions. Now we can finally get things done. So... Let's take a look at the galactic community real fast. What do we have on the docket in the proposal queue? This bad boy, we're putting on there right now. Emergency measure declared. I want to get through these as quickly as possible because I want greater than ourselves. Greater than ourselves will give us the access to the edict, which will allow people who are unemployed and homeless to move to a different planet by themselves. No more having to worry about moving them individually. It's just the nicest thing ever. Not to mention... We have quite a lot of galactic power on our side, which is nice. Now, eventually, we are going to want to go down the galactic reform to change the council size to two, and then change the council size to one. But we're going to need a lot more power for that. Oh, the Fiend regime just opened up their, their borders to us. What would it take to invite you to the Federation? Uh, well, everybody says no, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Because I have... Let's see. Let's just let's just send it just for shits and giggles. So let's see. Invite to Federation requires. They have declared Federation member. Oh, a rival. Federation member. Okay, so they can't join because they're rivals. Okay, that's fine. Freaking hell. You freaking children. Now eventually we should be able to pick up our Galactic Wonders perk, and we should. Yeah, we can't do it now. But once we're able to do that, then we'll get ourselves a Dyson Sphere under construction and everything like that. We do actually have the construction thing put down for the Mega Shipyard, so we should probably get that done eventually. But I just need more alloys, honestly. The one thing that we're struggling with right now is the advanced resources. Our tech is really low, and because of our Empire Sprawl, it's also even lower. Our alloy income is low, and our consumer goods is just in the tank right now, so... Once that uh, Ecumenopolis is up and running on Polaris Prime, we're going to use it as consumer goods and alloys. Who just declared war? Who wants to... Oh, they want to declare war against the Pricky T. How powerful are the Pricky T compared to us? They're pathetic. Yeah, we can go to war with them. Uh, 231705 can I at least move my fleets down to their... Oh, wait, no, they're... I'm not on a direct border with them. Yeah, let's go Let's go to war. Um, all right, let's move our fleets into position. Down here. All right, so we're at war with the Pricky T. That's not going to be too, too bad. We'll wipe them off the face of the, uh, the galaxy. And then we'll go from there. Is there anything else that needs to be surveyed that we don't see? No. All right, so we'll just go ahead and chuck you just like that and send you guys back home. There we go. Alright, so yeah, the Bricky T, we should be able to wipe them out pretty dang quickly. Where does this wormhole go? Hopefully nowhere into our space. Nope, it goes up into our ally space, and they're pretty powerful too. 14k, that's nice. So we'll just go ahead and move our fleets down there. I could really care less about taking the space down here, so if I do end up taking some space down here after the war is over, I will get rid of it. 
because I don't want my borders to be over here as well. It's kind of dumb. But at least with this, the Federation will now be bordering the Finnu regime. And I wonder, can we do anything with the uh, corporation down here? Must be at peace. Um, okay, let's go ahead and start... In oh, wait, no, we're already improving relations with them. So we'll probably want to get them into the Megacorp, um, or into the, uh, the Federation here soon. But everyone else is going to vote no, but we should be able to get them in anyways. Regardless of what they think. Alright. So, select all military fleets, and let's just go ahead and hop on in. Let's take them out. So I wasn't planning on going to war with the Bricky T anytime soon, but uh, if my people want to fight, my people want to fight. How are we doing in our first fight? It's a pretty beefy bastion. But we should be totally fine. Yep. Did we lose anything? Nope. Alrighty. So the Finni regime just declared war on the Bricky T as well. So I suppose now it's going to be a rush to go ahead and get our allies as many space, as much space as we can before the Finnu regime comes in and decides to take a lot of it back. Uh, but that's good to know because now we can just go ahead and send these guys down here. And uh, who just closed borders? The Finnu regime. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see, what do we have with the Finnu regime? Let's close our borders with them as well, make it difficult for them to get around. We have a new proposal on the Galactic Community. What do we got? Uh, minor research sanctions? Sure. I like sanctions. Uh, oh my god, okay. Uh, voting to enact this re resolution is going to fail if we do not include any diplomatic weight. Uh, okay. Who is the biggest guy over there that we're friends with? Are we friends with- are we friends enough with the Zri guys, these guys? Offer trade deal. Will you guys give me favors? Yes, you will. Wonderful. Let's see. Do you guys... You guys are... You guys are out... No, wait, no. They're lithoids. They don't like food. Um, okay, get that out of there. Let's give them some minerals, because that's their food. Oh my god, that's gonna bankrupt me as far as minerals go. Oh my god, they don't even want all those minerals. Okay. Uh, okay, how about some volatile moats? Oh yeah, you guys really like moats. You like to eat rocks, of course you like moats. Alright, there we go. So we'll grab that. And then... Once that goes through, call in favors. Then with this remanufacturing, go until it's maxed out. We'll call in all of my favors. That's still not enough? Holy crap! We need some of the some of these people down here that are we no one's abstaining holy crap everyone else just does not want this now why the hell is that a thing okay you leave me no choice assign an envoy take them from everywhere that we don't care about um okay and then the rest are in our federation which we still have plus 2.55 we can take one more and that shouldn't have lowered it too, too much. 1.55, perfect. Now, how is it? Are we over the limit now? We just need one more person to be on our side. One more person will do it. Alright, well, we still have 800 days until it happens. So let's hope that somebody decides to join our cause. I promise you it's worth it, people. <clears throat> You're happy people. Research complete. Alright, we might lose some ships here in this fight because we're going to be point-blank with them. And hey, look at that. We got some new Gaia worlds. Perfect. Yeah, we'll probably lose some ships here because we're point-blank with them. And they are the Fanatic Purifiers, meaning they have uh, increased ship uh, attack speed and everything like that. Ship rate, ship fire rate, stuff like that. Okay, maybe we didn't lose any ships. That's, that's very lucky. Very, very lucky. Okay, I tipped the balance. I tipped the scale. <clears throat> so long as, as so long as our friends in blue do not leave, <clears throat> we should win this. It will win it by just the tiniest little margin, but we should be able to win it. Granted, I just drained a whole lot of my uh, my influence, but hopefully it'll be worth it because I know it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hard fight to get that that one edict resolution through. But uh, we'll get it. I promise you, we'll get it. 
the border gore over here is just going to be absolutely atrocious for a while. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So that one's done there. Come on. Come on, 10 days. Stay there, Finney Regime, please. Stay there. We've almost got it. Don't switch. Don't switch. Don't switch. Don't switch. We got it. Nice. And it only costs like several hundred influence. That's fine. And now the Finney Regime just declared war on the Zri Manufacturing. So I think Zri Manufacturing is going to go bye-bye because they're not only at war with the Fanatical Purifiers, but now they're at war with the Regime as well. Uh, so, bye-bye. <laughs> Poor things. Uh, so we're going to continue to terraform all of these worlds into Gaia worlds. We're making very good progress on it. We've actually um, like done quite a few worlds already. And, I mean, we've got the spare energy, so we may as well start to just turn all these bad boys into it. Now, the best thing about having Gaia Worlds is just because, one, they look nice, but two, um, if I'm not mistaken, when you have it as a Gaia World, here you go, resources from jobs plus 10%, lithoid pop happiness plus 10%, and biological pop happiness plus 10%, and then you have 100% habitability on everything. So not only are we growing pops on these planets, but we're also building robots on these planets, and everybody will have 100% um, habitability, they'll be happier, and they produce more um, resources from their jobs. So once you have all of your worlds on uh, as Gaia worlds, you're going to be pumping out just resources after resources after resources, and it, it's just going to be really nice, honestly. Um, but let's see, terraform this bad boy right here. The only ones that are going to take fucking forever to terraform into the uh, the Gaia worlds are the these things, the tomb worlds, because we can't we can't directly terraform them into Gaia worlds. You can only terraform them into like a continental world or a regular version of the worlds, and it takes 75, 7,200 days. Then you have to terraform them into a Gaia world. So yeah, that's that's going to be a bit rough. But let's see, the TL Corp Corporation asks for association status. Yes. Can we get them into the Federation? It must have been 10 years since we were at war with them. Uh, invite to Federation. Everyone else votes no. But that shouldn't matter. But we'll let them, we'll, we'll let it build up trust. We'll let them build up trust with our, with our friends. And then we should be okay. Yeah, see, they're opening up you know, branch offices and, car, you know, all that stuff. Speaking of that, I really do want to get some branch offices open. We are a goddamn megacorp, but for some reason, you should be able to build them on your Federation people's planets, but I guess not. That's kind of sucky. Either that or there's a glitch or something's going wrong. So a little bit of an update as to what's been going on here. It's been a lot of in the background stuff at the moment. We're kind of hemorrhaging consumer goods at the moment, so I'm going through and I'm making sure that all of our planets that have the... Uh, hollow theaters on them also have um, some more stuff to boost their production, but we're also throwing up some consumer goods things all around uh, different planets. So, like, all of these planets up here, especially the habitats, the new commercial habitats that we've got, we're going to start building more civilian industries on those. And, you know, the habitats down here, this one's not even growing anymore. This is another tomb world, but yeah, then stuff like this. Since we have hollow theaters on, like, every single one of our worlds, we're just hemorrhaging freaking consumer goods. But eventually we'll be fine once we get all of these worlds turned into to, um, Gaia worlds. I think we'll be just fine and it'll start to push out even more resources. But just gotta come through here and make sure that everything's got the buildings that they need. Um, as far as the galaxy's going, uh, it seems the Finu regime and the Zri manufacturing are no longer at war with each other. Which is a good thing. Um, this planet right here is, can be done. Cease robot assembly. There we go. I know I could probably build a like building there to go ahead and pop in a little bit more housing, but at the same time, I don't really think we need to. Right here can be done. Cease robot assembly, there we go. And then here we also want no growth there. Now here we can go and continue to grow stuff here. But uh, we do have the jobs kind of micromanaged here on the Ecumenopolis. I want to have as many of these alloy jobs pumping out as many alloys as we can, so we're going to go ahead and pump out some more of those. But I also want them to have the entertainer jobs as well, because the amenities on these planets, they can get away from you pretty quickly, especially when you're con continuously building these industrial slash uh, foundry arcologies. They can definitely get away from you. So like right here, we don't have anybody working as um, somebody making amenities, so now we have low stability on this planet, but it'll fix itself here soon. 
Otherwise, every other planet seems to be okay. We can just keep throwing down a couple more of these um, civilian industry buildings just like that. But overall, things are going well. We're continuing to reinforce our fleets a little bit. Uh, we still have 93 ships to go with a total of 36,473 alloys to spend to reinforce all of our fleets. But our gateway network is coming up. And soon our trade will go through all of the gateways into our capital. You can already kind of see that's already beginning to happen a little bit. But we want to make sure that everything goes straight into our capital. Nothing is going around a regular trade route. We want to make sure it's all poured right into the capital. That way we don't have to worry about pirates anymore. We don't have to worry about smuggling, anything like that. So not to mention we are just losing so much trade value by not having anything in space. So making sure that I'm putting down new bastions with trade hubs inside of them and uh, getting, getting everything like that. But right now we're just kind of in the turtle phase, watching everybody else fight, and then we're kind of just getting more powerful and more, more and more powerful as time goes on. So this is one of our first trade hubs that we'll put here. This is in the Yod Bem sis, um, system, and that has a wormhole next to it, so that should also help to connect a few things. And then once we have the, inter, um, the international, what is it? Is it the international trade? Or the Interstellar Trade Company, because I think it's the Interstellar one. Off-World Trading Company, yeah. So once we've got that up, we'll be able to have quite a lot of trade value coming back into the capital. Because we do have a gateway in the Yod Bem system, and then in the other system that I'm building one in. I think it also has a wormhole. Yeah, right here. So the gateway will be built right there. In fact, he's building it right now. And so all of our all of our gateways will connect and we'll have all the trade value in the world. That's honestly just the best way to do this. But um, I imagine we'll probably end off the episode here uh, in a little bit. Um, but I don't think we're going to go back to war today. I think what we're going to do is we're going to consolidate our power, continuously build up our bastions as well as our gateway network, get ourselves some better fleets, and then go to war with the Finu regime. Now, granted, the Finu regime now is pathetic to us because we've gone ahead and um, outfitted one of our fleets, and our Federation fleet is looking scary, dude. It is, it is, it's a bit terrifying, not gonna lie. 13 battleships, 14 cruisers, 15 destroyers, and 14 corvettes. I can honestly kind of dig it. So, uh, let's see, this is gonna be another trade hub right there, because we're getting a whole whopping uh, 129 energy from that shit. That's kind of crazy. But, we'll go to war with the Finu regime in the next episode. However, after that, there's only a couple of other things we need to go to war with before we have reached our goal. Then we need to go ahead and be the president of this. We need to have that as size one. And then, honestly, the Screevian um, corporate holdings would be a finished playthrough. Once the entire galaxy is in our federation, and I have become the president of the Senate, I think that's when we'll end off the, uh, the, the the series, and it'll be pretty awesome. So, until then, I suppose we'll just continue to build that stuff up. But, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's episode. It was a blast. It was a lot of fun to go ahead and go to war and wipe out the Pricky T, as well as enrich our um, allies. Federation is almost up to level 4, so probably within you know the next couple episodes we'll be at level 5. Then we'll have a maxed out trade league, and I am so happy about that. We've got tons of influence stored up to start building up mega structures, and our alloys are finally starting to look better than they were before. So, with that being said, thank you guys so, so much for coming on by and hanging out with me today. And until next time, this has been Commander Ryantium, signing off.